Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips, Action Auto Parts, and it has been a hot, hot day today. Bless her heart, poor little old Felicia has weed eated the majority of the day. I kept saying, I go check on her, don't get too hot. Okay, I'm all right, I'm all right. And uh, so anyway, she, I'd say she weed eated good five hours or better from when they got here and ate and, until I told them to quit and go home. Well, it was a sad, kind of a sad day. I have sold the LTD that I affectionately called Newt because the older gentleman that owned it, that was his name was Newt. Or So uh, I've just got so many projects and I'm coming to the realization that I could use the money to put toward other stuff. Uh, hopefully if I can save some of it out, you know, like when I, get the little brick house sold to go in on the garage or to work on some other projects or whatever. But a good buddy of mine uh, up in West Virginia, he bought a 70 Lincoln Mark III from me and he's bought a bunch of car parts and stuff out of the junkyard and he hit me up on that. And so I priced it, he took it and uh, he sent me the deposit. Said it might be a couple weekends before he comes down to get it. But uh, nonetheless, he's, going to do that and uh and i know he'll do good things with it and that's what needs to be done because it's a pretty cool old car I, i've always liked these now i will be honest i would rather have one of the sport that doesn't have the opera window or whatever you call it dumaflagey back there and it has the stripes i like those a lot better but i still always had a a soft spot for this ltd2 the 77 89 I mean, they're right in there with the, the Cougars and the Thunderbirds, but, uh, uh, and I like those as well, but, uh, it would be, it would be cool to have one of each, but, uh, I've just got so much stuff. So anyway, I got that one sold. We got to get the window back up on the Cimarron. Uh, we got it going and drove it out here, but I thought I had a, a new set of tires, but they were the wrong size. So the front two wouldn't hold air. So Peg throwed a couple other tires and wheels on it until I can get some tires uh situation worked out on it but um i'm gonna go home and cool off for just a little bit and then try to bring the mower back out maybe 6 30 ish or so and try to see how much mowing i can get done uh it's starting to feel a little better but it was really humid today but every day this week i went up into the weekends like low 90s and of course your humidity and stuff so uh, but there's just a tad bit of a breeze, uh, blowing. So maybe I can, like I said, after I cool off, maybe eat me a light snack and then, uh, come back out and try to get the mowing done. But the OLTD, uh, it took me probably five or six years to buy it. And then I've had it for a while and we, and we've done some stuff. It's got new starter, new carburetor, some other different things. And Peg kind of had it going and then it act like it wasn't firing right. And, and my buddy knows that, but, uh, I know it's nothing serious, but I wanted to kind of do a quick one here and I'm going to head to, uh, the house. Hope y'all are having a great one. Please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.